Hello everybody, Jason Bascom, Unhinged Entertainment. Welcome, welcome. What are we doing today? I'm drawing out of a, a ash can, actually. It's a smaller comic that's with an ash can. It's called Bloodbone. It's done by the great Edwin Acevedo. Uh, him and Donald DeLay did this. Uh, fantastic uh, interiors, fantastic story, fantastic book. Edwin's a good dude. Uh, right now, I think he's got uh, the Ace Volume 3 on sign up on Indiegogo. Go check it out. Well, what an ash can is, is a, um, it's a smaller comic, so to speak. It's, uh, there's eight and a half, they're generally about eight and a half by five and a half, and they're, uh, fewer pages than what a traditional comic is, which is anywhere from 20 to 24 usually, so, um, usually they're a little bit smaller than that, and they're pretty cool, they, they get a product out there, uh, they're kind of like, um, what they were used for back in the day, it was like a, uh, promotional piece, or a, a piece to establish, an intellectual property uh, that way you can copyright it kind of and you know give it a sell it at cons but you would bring it into like a a boardroom or something to be like hey this is what it's going to look like this is what i'm thinking of and generally they would throw it away in the trash can hence ash can so uh that that's just a shortened term and they kind of became very collectible throughout the years uh because they initially were just garbage so uh the older uh, ash cans from uh decades ago are worth quite a lot Sometimes, uh, sometimes. Uh, don't think just because you have one though it's worth millions of dollars, uh, you know. But uh, this one is a cool one. Uh, I, I had to, you know, he had a crowdfunded it and uh, put it out there. I also got the original one, a cover plus a Shelby Robertson cover, which is pretty cool. And uh, just a fun little bruiser book. Uh, pretty cool. Big bruiser looking dude with a mask. So uh, a lot of fun drawing. I like drawing on the sketch covers. You try and do a few more. Uh, I, that's what I used to, the blind guy draw series was that a lot of sketch covers really um, So I'm gonna get back to them. I have fun doing them. They're, they're good And I like doing the indie comic ones, especially when they're on a good cardstock like this I had a one that was very glossy. It was like drawn on glass. It was terrible So if you're putting these out, make sure you know how to put them out. You want to you want to have a mat Uncoated you got to have that and a good good weight to it so uh, this is a very good one for because it's an ash can. Uh, it's a nice stock and uh, handles ink very well. I actually used a different uh, inking thing. It's it's a uh, I use a fountain pen that uh, the Art and Times with Jay Ryan I think suggested in a chat. So uh, and I picked it up and it, it actually works really well. It gets a nice fine line. So and then I also use a little Pentel pocket brush and a little bit of Copic markers. So uh, I did it by the Ohuhu markers. They're really good. But uh, I did, just in case it didn't work well, I didn't want to ruin, you know, they're, they're affordable, but I didn't want to ruin them, so I just went ahead and used the Copics. Uh, so it came out well, came out nice. I, I had a lot of fun doing this. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you please, hit that bell for notification. Thank you. And there you have it. I hope you liked it. If you, did, you know the drill. Also, uh, on one week, I'm going to close that, well, Less than a week. I'm going to close down Absolute One Stormy Night. going to be Sunday or Saturday, May the 4th. Yes, I know that's Star Wars Day, Free Comic Book Day, but I'm going to close it down after that. Uh, so, and I'll ship everything else out on Sunday if there's any more orders. Uh, if not, you can only get it through me at that point. So, check it out. Back it today. Link is in the description below. And then after that, I'll be just promoting the Frog G, which that's down there as well. Check that out if you want. But uh, like I said, one week left on this. Make sure you pick that up. So, really hope you like this video. Thank you once again, everybody, for watching. And as always, have a great one.